Uh, yeah, I just try to focus on playing as hard as I can. Try to be the hardest playing cat on the floor. So that's just worked out for me today. And, uh, you know, y'all, y'all got a big game this weekend. But, you know, what, what can y'all learn from a game like this uh, to kind of warm up and prepare yourselves going into this back stretch of the non-conference? Uh, don't take anybody lightly and treat every game like it's you're playing the best team in the country. And, uh, you know, what do you see from your teammates uh, that were able to get out there today? A lot of guys out, out there got a lot of minutes. You know, you, what were you able to see from them? Uh, we all like to see each other do good and win. So, like, we got a nice brotherhood going on. All right. Thanks, KJ. Thank you. Um, you know, obviously, when you have these type of games, you, you feel pretty good about having the athletic advantage. Uh, but I, I, I thought our approach to the game, that was what I was really worried about. I wanted to try to play uh, as many guys as possible, and thankfully we were able to achieve that. Um, and the only way that happens is if you're veterans such as K.J. Buffett, such as Quan Jackson, they come out and they take the right approach. And really proud of K.J. It's his third straight game where he's not gotten into foul trouble. He finishes 16 and 11 on a very efficient 7 for 8 from the field. I thought Jamal Jack Johnson knocked down some shots and really helped us. Jelly didn't shoot it good, but I thought his four game in the second half was good. Quan was outstanding. And so it's great to see, you know, guys like Elijah Tate and Tony Tony get minutes, get opportunities, because as young players, they're going to be good players before they leave here. So um, bottom line is we got to number eight, and that's the goal. Uh, speaking of that, besides uh, AD and uh, John, uh, everyone else got, you know, at least six minutes and everyone, everyone on the team in the uh, plus category. Uh, just talk about that. Be able to, you know, despite the level of competition, be able to come out there and uh, take care of business. Yeah, I thought, again, I, th I thought we, we called it operate right. I thought we operated pretty well. We're plus 18 on the glass, which shows effort. We had 16 off the offensive glass. I thought we were a little loose. 11 turnovers is ridiculous. But some of it are guys just, some of it are the new guys just playing a little bit too fast. Shot it better, I thought, in the second half. And finally, we're able to knock down some threes. You know, Millsaps tries to go to that zone just to try to slow the game down. Our pressure is problematic, and, and that has been proven not just uh, against a, a team such as Millsaps. Throughout, th throughout the course of the season, our, our pressure has been really problematic, and that was the case again this afternoon. Uh, Erdl and Jimison were out, I imagine, just for precautionary reasons. Well, if you remember against East Tennessee State, I mean, uh, Trey had um, a little bit of a, a knee twist. And when you're in the in the heat of the moment against a quality opponent, adrenaline carries you through. And then you, the next day, you, you start feeling some things. He had a number of knee issues. It's the same knee. It's a different problem. Nothing, nothing on scale. But uh, I just felt like he was lumbering a little bit. We've got a huge stretch, you know, next week with uh, a couple of really important games. And, and I wanted him to make sure that he that he had his pop. He had his he had his bounce. And so. We felt like it was an opportunity not only to rest him, but to get some other guy minutes. And then if, then Mike went down, had a huge play. He had made a, a big three, and he got a steal on the open floor against St. Louis. And it was when uh, was it when they had the intentional foul. And when he landed, he landed on his right hand, and he kind of hyperextended his right thumb. So again, just precautionary. We didn't want him to fall on it. We've been really uh, careful in limiting his reps leading into next week. And a uh, guy who uh, did play a little bit uh, today, uh, uh, Tate Logan. Uh, Solid on the offensive end, but really big on the defensive end. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Dave's a guy that he's an all-conference player. Um, we're trying to get him where he's more aggressive. He is such a pleaser, man, really on and off the court. He's a great kid. Thought he did a great job of setting up his teammates' penetrations and pitching. And as you said, five big steals. I thought he was tremendous on the defensive side. Good day at the free throw. <clears throat> it was a good day at the free throw line. We didn't get there very often, but in a game such as this, that's probably to be expected. We're a group that should be 72, 73 percent. I think coming into the game, we were sub 70. So it's a step in the right direction. Thank you.